Visme allows you to add and edit photos pretty easily right in the system. So there's a few different ways that you can do that. I'm going to show you a couple different methods. Uh, one is that you can drag and drop photos from your local station and I'm going to go ahead and show you how that's done. So in this case I have an image that is already saved on my computer and all you have to do is just drag and drop it into your stage. And what that does is it basically takes the image and it uploads it right into your canvas area. Okay. Um, the other option is that you can also go to the left panel and there's the images icon here and we give you millions of free images that you can choose from so you can basically search for anything and basically you click it and you can start adjusting the photo. The other option is that as you add photos you start building a library. So this is my library and we have a whole topic on this uh, talking about how the media library works is a pretty powerful and effective feature. Uh, in this case if you notice I just dragged and dropped my last image and it is already in my media library. And of course I could click it and I could add that image to my canvas. In this case I already have the image so I'm going to go ahead and work with that. <clears throat> so in this case I have a little iPad here and what I want to do is I want to transpose an image over the iPad. So I'm going to try to recreate this for you on the right side. Here's how it's done. I go to my photo panel. I have a copy of the iPad already on the media library so I'll go ahead and locate that. So here it is. I select it. Um, notice that it says do you want to replace the existing image. That's because I already selected an image. I want it as a new image so I will say add as new image and it moves right down here. So now if you notice I have my image, I have my iPad and I want to transpose this image um, over the iPad and they are two different sizes. So let me show you here. If I move the image over this area you could see that it doesn't necessarily fit. So it's a lot larger. And in order to effectively have it fall over that, what I need to do is to follow a step called cropping. And cropping is pretty standard in different image software. Here's how it works. I hit crop. And what this will do is it makes my image a little transparent. And so I can see the image behind it. And this is done so that you can very quickly find the area that you want to uh, crop. So I'm finding the edge and I'm going to drag this over and bring it to the edge of this area here. Okay. And I can also input my own numbers if I want to. So if I hit apply, what it's done is I've gone ahead and actually cropped the image right over that area. And so that's how you can uh, crop an image uh, or transpose it over another area. So that's one step. The other one uh, that I want to show you is that instead of cropping images you can actually uh, use the, the procedure of framing um, images over another. So here's how that is done. So if you look here I have on the left panel uh, a few images and uh, of course they were square shaped or rectangular how do they fit inside of that and that is used via a similar procedure but it's called framing and that's pretty easily done in VisMe as well so I'm just gonna go ahead to my library and I will go ahead and grab a couple images so I will grab let's see this image here and I will also grab another one. So let's go ahead and put this image on the corner. And let's go ahead and grab one more. Okay, so there is this image here. And 
and I'm going to add them all as a new. So you can already size your image down if you want to. In this case, of course, I know that the, the frame that I want is a lot smaller. So I will go ahead and click on the image. And I will click on the top left. I will go to frames. And the frame feature gives you a bunch of shapes. And all you have to do is to select the one that you want. So I want to go for uh, more of the um, beehive shape. So I will go ahead and locate that object. And when I click that, it automatically applies that. Um, it pretty much frames that shape over the image. And all I really need to do at this point is to select the area that I want and hit apply. And so what I just did was create that shape, uh, frame that image into the shape of the hex color. And I can size it down if I want to. So the other thing that I can do is another trick. Instead of going through the whole process all over again, I can go ahead and duplicate this and move it around to a corner. Then what I could do is go to another image that I have and I can drag it over to, uh, to that shape. And that would actually embed that shape into that. Okay, so if you notice, I just did that, and boom. I basically took that image, and I can repeat the process over again. So I could duplicate this again, and then go put another image over it. So that's how you can easily uh, use the image crop and frames within Visme and manage your assets.